to find out if you have sleep apnea in 30 seconds or less here. It's a super simple research-backed survey. There's my cat. There he goes. His name is Bob. This is the number one tool your doctor should be using when trying to answer this question. Thanks to Dr. Chung here, we can get an idea for ourselves. So we're gonna walk through this. I'll tell you what the points need. So number one, do you snore loudly? Yes or no? And each time you say yes, put up a finger. Number two, do you feel tired, fatigued, or sleepy during the daytime? Yes or no? Has anyone observed that you stop breathing at night? All right. Number four, do you have high blood pressure or do you take high blood pressure medication? Yes or no? All right. This next one might be tricky. So if you know your BMI, if it's 35 and above, or if you're just 30 pounds overweight, give yourself another plus one. If you are 50 years and above, give yourself another plus one. Uh, this is neck circumference, which is kind of a weird one. This would translate to a size 16, apparently, on the neck, whatever. Uh, and then if you're a man, guess what? You get another point. So here's what the numbers mean. If you are two, one, or zero, that means very low risk. If you are five and above, that means it's very likely. Like if you got a sleep study, there's a 90% chance you're going to test positive for obstructive sleep apnea. And if you're in the middle, I'm sorry, you're in the middle, uh, very likely your doctor would say, you know, a sleep study would be appropriate. And just to be clear, this is not diagnostic. This is a screening tool that's at the beginning of a conversation with you and your doctor. Once you're aware of a problem, it allows you to take steps to fix it. So if you know people who are maybe wondering if they have sleep apnea, this is a good video to share. And if you want some natural ways to support great sleep at night, go to apneareset.com forward slash thrive.